Why do fishes get diseases or sick in bioflock tanks? Reason for fishes getting ill or sick or disease. The most important factor like humans due to the stress fish also get sick. Stress is caused by placing a fish in a situation that is beyond its normal level of tolerance. Stress is a psych physiological response of the fish when they live in a less than optimal conditions. Overstocking, incorrect temperatures or pH, low DO and inappropriate feeding also causes stress. The fish's bodies have to work harder to overcome these poor conditions resulting in a depressed immune system. With the depressed immune system, the ability of the fish to heal in the ward of diseases reduces. Fish are sensitive to change in their environment and in aquaculture system, they are under more stress than in the wild. When fish is stressed, the effectiveness of its immune system is reduced, making it more susceptible to diseases. Stress alone does not kill the fishes. However, if fish are stressed for an extended period, they will inevitably develop diseases from various bacteria, fungi or parasites, etc. The key to prevention of stress is a good management. This means maintaining a good water quality, good nutrition and sanitation. Fish health management is a term used in aquaculture to describe the management practices which are designed to prevent fish diseases. Once fish get sick, it can be difficult to salvage them. Successful fish health management begins with the prevention of diseases rather than the treatment. Prevention of fish diseases is accomplished through good water quality management, nutrition and sanitation. Daily observation of fish behavior and feeding activities allows for an early detect detection of problems when diseases occur so that a diagnosis can be made before the majority of the populations become sick. If treatment is indicated, it will be most successful if it is implemented early in the course of disease while the fish are still in a good shape. How do you recognize the fish might be ill or sick? Through behavior, feeding decreases or it stops, Swimming weak, lazy, erratic, floating in water, head up, rubbing against the hard objects, flashing, twisting, darting repeatedly, crowding, gathering in a shallow water or at a water inflow, individual fish isolated from the main group of fishes. Then physical signs, gapping mouths, body, open sores, lesions, bloody areas, loss of scales, blotted belly, abnormal, abnormal colorations, gills, it is pale, eroded, swollen, bloody or brownish, fins, folded close to body or eroded, eyes, cloudy or distended, presence of disease organism on skins, gills, fins, trailing fiac gases appears to at the vent. There may be signs of growth of or abnormalities in or injuries. What causes stresses in fish? Environmental stress. What is environmental stress? Stress due to external noise and vibrations. Incorrect design tank design or decor could be a rough surface sharp corners etc incorrect tank mates aggressive species or non-compatible species accidental pollution insecticide or spray or spill or chemicals water conditions 
in appropriate temperature sudden decrease or increase in water temperature fluctuating water conditions low do or improper ph bad water quality if the water parameters are not maintained it leads to a poor water quality which will stress the fish and affect the fish health physical stress bowling from the other fish bigger fish in the tank or other fish species in the tanks too high density overcrowding of fishes will stress them there are high chances of injuring each other during handling fish handling could be during the grading sorting or during the disease treatment or transportations from other objects objects obstructing their paths when swimming around pathogen access introduction of ill fish in the system if the sanitization is not done properly of fish seeds before putting them into the tank debris build up nitrogenous and other metabolic waste accumulations of ammonia or nitrite etc pathogen unknown to the fish but gets transferred to the fishes unknowingly spoiled feed or molded feed low grade processed feed which will make them sick internal and external parasites other causes of stress overfeeding can also create a biological stress in fishes therefore a regulated feeding is important during the fish breeding period in correct diet need to know the right feed proteins requirement for the fish species you are breeding in your tanks low genetic immunity of fish species therefore getting the fish seed from the right source is very much important emergency actions if fishes are found to be sick infected by diseases keep the tank clean pump out the stale bottom water increase the water flows aerate the surface water avoid overcrowding of the tank use disinfect nets and other equipments remove the dead and dying fish remove the decomposing weeds and organic products stop feeding the fish flush the tank with a clean fresh water if the tank is well maintained and the fish is fed a healthy diet outbreak of any kind of bacterial diseases are unlikely in bioflock tanks the most commonly used method of applying therapeutic drugs and chemicals are feeding medicated fish feeds collecting and dipping the fish in a strong chemical bath for a short period of time as per the disease identified commonly used chemical for the treat fish diseases are salt like sodium chloride is for the parasitical and fungus disease vinegar acetic acid for parasitic disease chelated copper compounds for algae control potassium permanganate for improving the water quality formalin for parasite and fungal infections teramycin for bacteria infections romet for bacteria conclusion the most fish health problems occur because of the environmental problems poor water quality overcrowding dietary deficiency or stress the best cure for your any fish health problem is prevention good water quality management and the proper fish husbandry techniques will eliminate the most parasites and keep the fishes healthy